Hello, Dr. Kabubu. How are you this morning? I'm doing fine. I'm Thank so glad to see you after two years, even though you have been my surgeon, but I still really admire the job that you did for my surgery. Thank you so much for what you do for your patients. Uh, thank you for that, and it's my pleasure. Yeah, so I just wanted to briefly talk to you. I know you have surgeon, I have you have patients waiting for you. A uh, little bit I know about you. You grew up in Ethiopia, and you came to the U.S. at a very young age. Um, do you want to talk about what happened? You know, what made you guys move here, and your experience growing up, and the person that you became? Happy to. Um, it's somewhat of a typical immigrant story. Um, political uh, turmoil occurs in the country. Yeah. In my specific situation, um, at the age of nine, uh, my all my siblings were born in the States. Yeah. And uh, the country at that time had uh, an edict to say all Americans must leave. So my mother ended up having to leave with my uh, siblings to uh -huh. the U.S. Yeah. And then I ended up uh, living there uh, on my own with cousins and relatives for a year and a half. And, you know, at that younger age, uh, you learn uh, to be responsible, uh, look out for yourself. So that was a very impressionable moment. Uh, and then being reunited with my family a year and a half after, you really appreciate uh, family uh, and extended family, really, uh, during that time that supported me at yeah. such a young age. So there was a lot of maturing and a lot of things that you learned typically when the boys are just busy playing. <laughs> yes, exactly. An environment where you can't really be just an innocent nine or 10 year old and need to look out for yourself. And you see violence, you know, in the street, in the city, I lived in the capital city. Uh, and, and really, you, you see how important life is, uh, yes. and how important it is to make the most of it. But you were thinking of becoming an engineer, but eventually you became a doctor. So you did change your career path. And uh, what, why did you do that? You know, I mean, both of them are great professions and they both require a lot of hard work and different mindset almost. Yes, yes, that's very true. In fact, my siblings are engineers. Uh, I really had two events in my life uh, that really pushed me towards medicine. Uh, and that happened during my undergrad while I was studying as a chemical engineer. Um, one is my nephew was born with a cardiac congenital defect as well as esophageal atresia mm -hmm. and spent uh, nearly three months in the neonatal ICU. And uh, that was where I did my undergraduate was at UCLA and it was at the UCLA hospital. So I spent a lot of time there uh, visiting him and seeing all the interventions that he required. Okay. Uh, and then it really impacted uh, on what I wanted to do as a, a profession. Uh, you know, he's a, a lively 30 plus year old young man uh, and has had multiple surgeries that he's required. Yeah. Uh, but the impact in his life and to be able to live a full life when you're born a, a blue baby and certainly something that doesn't, you know, it's not 100% guarantee. Yeah. I wanted to function in that role and really impact other people's lives. Wow. That's uh, quite amazing that you were right there when he needed somebody. So Yeah, I mean, I was one of many siblings supporting uh, my sister. But, you know, once he went home, you know, initially he couldn't eat because of the esophageal atresia. They didn't want to fix it there at that time because he was a neonate yeah. uh, and needed to be fed through a G-tube a tube in the abdominal wall that goes directly to the stomach. Yeah. Um, so seeing what he went through uh, and really how dedicated uh, the people taking care of him were uh, really opened my eyes to what a huge impact I could make uh, yeah. in, that, in medicine, really. Yeah, medicine is really when you really think about helping them it's not about making money it's you know when you see things like this that's when you realize that you know you can almost be equivalent to god well <laughs> <laughs> uh certainly can make significant contributions for sure yeah it's very gratifying also um you were talking a little bit about an experience with your mother that made you a better yeah the, the second experience really 
during that time period was my mother, uh, when I was a freshman in college, uh, passed away with a, from a cerebral uh, aneurysm that hemorrhaged. Um, she had high blood pressure. Uh, and again, that event taught me how important it is that we take care of ourselves, preventative medicine, uh, and to be in a situation where, unfortunately, in her case, there was really nothing uh, modern medicine could do from an intervention standpoint that would have kept her alive. Uh, but both those events were really instrumental in me wanting to do medicine. I saw one scenario with my nephew yeah. Uh, where the impact, the interventions were significant in saving his life. Yeah. And in my mother's situation, it was the opposite. There wasn't much that could be done. And that's the reason I do clinical or translational research. And I take care of patients. It's those patients that I'm not successful that, taking care of or giving them the best outcome that they could have. Uh, that really pushes uh, my research ideas and, and the drive to do the research. Wow. It must be I, just thinking about both these experiences while you're a freshman, while you're deciding your career and two people so close to you. I mean, it must have made it so hard for you even like on a personal level, right? Education aside. Very true. Very true. And I, I didn't mention it also helps, although... Uh, my three siblings are engineer. My one sister uh, was in medical school at that time. So talking to her daily, <laughs> finding out the ups and downs of medical school and what she was doing uh, was also fairly inspirational uh, in me pursuing medicine. Yeah. So let's just talk about, you're talking about your sibling. I know you're, you all have very interesting names, <laughs> the whole family. How was that? Like, were you... Uh... Uh, you know made fun of in school or like was it just like I think it's a name with a lot of character it's like a superhero name <laughs> well uh well, I could say it was very difficult growing up you were made fun of right what kind yeah. of a name is that yeah. uh during elementary school but then fortunately for me by middle school and high school I was one of the taller kids so yeah. I didn't get bullied uh too much but obviously uh thereafter as an adult it's really been a blessing in the sense that people are interested in meeting me and talking to me and learning about my name. So and nobody forgets Dr. Electron Kabu. <laughs> for better or worse, right? Yeah, <laughs> True. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been great. And sort of, I think, uh, in a way, people say branded from the beginning, you know, as I think... I was supposed to do engineering, not medicine. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, but it's been a good thing uh, during my adult life, for sure. Thank you, Kabu, Dr. Kabu, so much. And I appreciate the time you took. And I mean, just the, the fact that you're talking to me, you take care of your patients, not only while you're doing the surgery, but I think otherwise also you build a long relationship with them. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's my pleasure. And congratulations for doing this. And I hope people will get inspiration out of it. I hope so too. Thank you so much again.